Kani is a small village, about 150 kilometers west of Islamabad on the M14 or CPAC motorway. The place is not well inhabited, thinly populated, and as a result of that, there's no light pollution in this region, and this makes it very suitable for astrophotography. The night sky is very dark, and it's about border to sky. On 14th of May, I planned a visit to Kani, and uh, during this visit, we had very receptive hosts. They were very enthusiastic. They participated very well with us in setting up the hardware. In fact, this gentleman in white clothing and uh, cap, he was very enthusiastic and wanted to know more about astronomy. And that was a very good, in fact, uh, encouraging sign for us. And in the initial stages, we were busy in setting up our hardware, the three tripods, EGQ5, and for the EQ5 and AM5, all three were set up. And recently, I've designed a rooftop tent for my car. It's uh, four feet by six and a half feet wide tent, which is three and a half feet in height. Basically, there is a iron frame and uh, everything can be set up in just about 15 to 20 minutes. Once these iron rods were fixed, the next step was to place the tent on top of this. And inside the tent, we also have a provision for a table on which we can place the laptop or maybe a small table fan if required. I spent the night in this tent and uh, it, I found it to be very comfortable and since it is on high ground and there's no real danger of uh, facing insects or other harmful things like snakes so it can keep you away from these. So this is the table being fixed and I use this stair which is folding for getting up and this gentleman in black shalwar kameez he is my driver he's a very very enthusiastic person who's always accompanying me and is a very good help in fact he now knows a lot about setting up the hardware so now we were actually trying to put this tent on top of this frame. And this was for the first time that uh, I was using it. So it was quite exciting to have it all set up. Getting into and coming out of the tent was not difficult. Once the tent was set up, then we were actually again uh, trying to set up the rest of the hardware now this is the hq5 mount and the counterweights have been and this is william optics 71 gt telescope and this is william optics red cat telescope on top of eq5 mount and finally the big gun the celestron c8 and uh, this is being mounted on AM5 mount. And, uh, I was there, I was in fact very excited to try and use and see the results of my recently developed 
adapter for converting this telescope to f2.0. So initially the secondary mirror of the telescope is being removed and then this is that adapter which is being now inserted into the telescope and then this is the field flattener, two inch field flattener. And finally, the camera that has to be installed and secured. Once the camera is installed, then we uh, apply the cables. This is the camera cable being connected to the ASI air and the power cable. And finally, we, we have to use the dew shield. In fact, this is not being used for protecting from dew. In fact, it is for protecting against stray lights. Now, this is the result. This is Roopuchi Cloud Complex. This picture was taken with Red Cat 51 using the camera 2600. Now, this picture of Trifid Nebula and Lagoon Nebula that was taken with Celestron C8 f2.0. As you can see, that depth of image is very clear and the stars are absolutely round, almost to the edges. This M81 and M82 and the IFN, I think, this again was taken with Celestron f2.0 and very clear picture. Now this picture in HA was taken with William Optics 71 GT using the HA filter. And finally, I also took the picture of the Milky Way. I used a, a Canon 60D camera and took just five minutes up in divided subs of 15 seconds each without any tracker. Well, I think the results were absolutely good. I hope you liked it. Thank you.